I do not consider myself a musician as I am not classically trained. I'm interested in creating a dialogue between two different forms of art by translating color into sound that's inspired by my familiar imagery from my family farm. Sound stitching is an experimental, interdisciplinary, and integrative project that gives a voice to a form of art that has not previously been able to perform. The process allows for a representational image to have its own unique song associated with it, while giving a traditional form of art such as hand stitching another way to communicate. I received piano lessons at a very young age from my paternal grandmother, Evelyn Rosetta Harbison Kite, who taught me how to read music. I played the drums and was a member of the percussion section of my middle school band until high school directed me to the visual arts. In an attempt to connect my visual history with my love of music and folk art, I use hand-stitched imagery to compose a song that is in essence created from the collaboration of the hand-stitched image with a color scale that is designed to fit the piano in the key of C major scale. The hand-stitched threads are read from left to right, top to bottom, and are organized into a color map pattern. The color map is used to create a methodical line drawing to show the order in which the colors are to be played on the piano. The color map and the line drawing can both be used to compose the hand stitching's song in collaboration with the color scale. Then I use those color maps and I write the music. Sound stitching provides a multimedia platform that unifies visual art and music. The process allows me to communicate through a folk art-esque approach to creation as I experiment through the process of composing music through a hand stitched image.